Welcome to Stories Behind the Objects, where we explore the history behind Museum of the Rockies artifacts in five minutes or less. While all types of extracurriculars have been important to student life on campus, this one is for you, sports fans. Inspired by the void of fall college football season and this piece of protective gear from MOR's collection, today we're heading to the gridiron to learn a little bit about the early years of Bobcat football. I know what you're thinking. It is not that type of protective gear. This object has been referred to as football's most unusual protective device, and it's actually a nose mask. This particular mask is called Morrill's Nose Mask, and this style was produced and sold nationwide from 1891 to 1901. The mask was made of rubber. It was tied or belted around the forehead, and the player would bite down on the mouth guard portion and breathe through these three holes. Because the masks were rubber, players could carve their names into them to avoid mix-ups. And the owner of this mask did exactly that along with lots of other great information, including his position, the year he played, the school's name, and the scores from each game that season. The mask was owned by Don Robinson, who played right halfback for the Bobcats for only one season in the fall of 1900. You can see his name and the year carved into the mask. At that time, Montana State University was known as the Montana College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts, MAC, or more casually as the Montana State College of Agriculture, MSC. You can see that Don carved MSC into the bottom of his mask. The season that Don played was only the fourth ever for the team. The first football team at MSC had been fielded in 1897. You can see a picture of that very first team here. There were only 14 players on that team. 1897 was also the first year that MSC faced off against the University of Montana in Missoula, a matchup that would come to be called the Brawl of the Wild, or Cat Grizz. Unfortunately, we don't have any pictures of the 1900 squad with Don, but you'll see pictures of a few other early teams scroll across your screen, including this one from 1903. Be sure to be on the lookout for the nose masks. They're the things that look like really weird neckties. According to the carvings on the mask, the 1900 season for Don Robinson and the Cats was a winning one. Don carved the scores for four games into his mask, with Bozeman winning three of those games. Although, if we're being honest, at the time the college often had to play high school teams who were in the immediate area, so the Cats may have had a bit of a size advantage. According to the college newspaper The Exponent, the average weight of the 1900 football team was 162 pounds. I did the math. The average weight of the 2020 team is 226 pounds. But most importantly for all you Cats fans out there, Bozeman beat Missoula 12-11 to in the 1900 Thanksgiving Day edition of the Brawl of the Wild. The University of Montana's student newspaper had this to say about the match. The story is easily told. We were beaten and must wait another year for an opportunity to redeem ourselves. From the equipment to the opponents to the size of the team, football looks a bit different nowadays. And while this year looks different than most, the Cats can be thankful for at least one thing. At least they don't have to wear a nose mask.